Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. I am Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and today we are outside in the garden and I have been checking out these blueberry bushes. We have two blueberry bushes that are about two years old and we have four blueberry bushes that are about a year old. We absolutely love blueberries. They are great for muffins and smoothies and if you ask Marisol, she just likes to pick them off the bush. So today I am going to work on propagating some of these blueberry bushes so that we have more. To get these blueberries ready to propagate, I made sure that last night I gave them a big drink of water. We actually got a lot of rain yesterday, so it is the perfect time to propagate these. You wanna make sure that when you are propagating that the plant gets a good drink of water the night before so that it can soak up all of that water, the leaves are nice and full of moisture, and so are the stems. That way, they have a little bit of reserved water and nutrients before you cut them, which will have a better success when you go to propagate them. Let's take a look at this blueberry bush and determine what branches we are going to propagate. So I don't want to cut anything that has blueberries already on it. And I don't want to cut anything that has like the woody stem. That's not going to propagate very well. I want to look for branches that are green, like this one. They have a few leaves on them. There's actually two right here that I think would be perfect. And I want it to have, like I said, some leaves so that it has some surface area to capture all of that sunshine. Looking at this plant, I am going to cut this branch and I am going to cut it just below a leaf. And I'm gonna go pretty far back so that I have a decent stem and I might be able to get two sticks out of this. So there we go. You wanna cut it right below a leaf, so it's right below a nodule. There is lots of yummy and good cells in this nodule which will produce roots a lot quicker. So here is our first cutting and I'm gonna go through and get a couple more. I have a good number of cuttings here, so I'm gonna take them over to my bench and get working on getting them in some rooting compound and into some sand. So here I have all of my supplies to propagate. These are the snips that I used, root hormone, I have an empty milk jug, and I have a big pot full of sand. And I have all of my little cuttings. So I'm gonna prep these cuttings a little more. And I want cuttings that are about six inches long and I want them to be somewhat sturdy and not, like this top is really floppy, so I probably won't use the top on this one, but I want a somewhat sturdy base. So I'm gonna remove these bottom leaves, and then I'm going to snip this. I want it to have about three or four leaves. So, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of them and see how many I get. All of my stems are ready. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get them a little bit wet. I'm going to dip them in my root hormone and then stick them in my sand. Now, when I propagate these, I wanna make sure that they have 100% humidity. 
which is where our milk jug comes in. I'm gonna cut this and then it's going to push it down in the sand. So I wanna make sure that I group these pretty close together in the middle so that they all fit underneath our milk jug. You don't have to dip these in there individually. You can group them all together like this. One more. Okay, I'm going to swirl them around in the water to get them wet and then dip them in our root hormone, shake it off, and then I'll start placing them in the sand. have all of my blueberries in here. I am going to count them in a minute, just so I remember. You wanna make sure that your sand is wet, but not completely drenched. So like I said, it did rain last night, so this sand is pretty wet, and this milk carton will not fit all the way over this. So it will still get wet and still get water anytime it rains, which is what we want. Now on to cut this milk carton to make it a humidity dome. So here it is. What I'm going to do is make sure that all of my leaves are inside my dome. I'm going to push it down. And now I'm going to put it on a north wall of our house. You want something that is in the shade all the time. You do not want direct sunlight to ever hit this bottle. So you want it to get indirect sun. I'll turn this around in a minute and I'll show you. Behind me, the sky is completely open. Nice big blue sky. So this will get sunlight, indirect sunlight, and it is still outside, so we'll be accustomed to the outside temperatures. This wall is perfect. It's on the north side of our house, so I'm gonna push it right up here, and we will come back and check it in probably six to eight weeks. Here is, this is the sky that is in front of these blueberries. All right, I'm gonna take you guys over and show you the blueberries that we propagated last year. Here are the blueberry bushes that we propagated last year. We did these the same exact way that I just showed you. We had great success with it, which is why we are doing it again this year. And of course, because we like blueberries. But I potted these up in the spring, so we let the blueberries harden off in the sand and with the humidity dome all winter long. And then anything that was still growing and still rooted was hardy enough to transplant, which is what I did in the spring. And then I will probably pot these up in about a month or so to give them a little bit more room. And I'm also going to start fertilizing them so that they develop a nice, strong root base. If you want to know more about growing blueberries, make sure you head on over to our website. We have some great articles there about growing blueberries in pots. And if you want to see how our blueberry uh, cuttings are doing that we just took. Make sure you follow us on Instagram so that you can see some weekly, monthly progress on those seedlings. If you are looking to grow blueberries in your backyard and you are not 100% sure where you want to plant your blueberry bushes yet, then check out this video all about how you can grow blueberries in pots for a larger harvest. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me at the farmhouse today and we will talk to you soon.